Ladies and gentlemen, pray. Voted on by Patreon recently, it came up in discussion on Discord a while back when talking about Arcane Studios, the developer. People seemed to really like Prey, so I threw it on the Patreon poll, and it ended up winning. So, I guess it's pretty good. <laughs> There's a, a decent bit of hype around it. I pretty much entirely missed this game. It wasn't on my radar at all, ever. I remember watching uh, uh, some dudes like episode five or six or something that they had done. Just I was looking into the person and I happened to click on a Prey video. And they were trying to make like a foam staircase or something with some tool or gun or something like that. I don't, I don't fully remember exactly what was going on, but they were struggling with it and it took them the entire episode to try to do it and they failed. And I said, I don't think I want to watch this person anymore. So I didn't. That's all I know about the game. So I don't know. We'll, um, we'll go into it. I do not have the DLC. The DLC from what I saw was one of them had this like wild time limit thing going on all the time. Didn't really seem to be terribly enjoying. And the other one was basically n not Prey at all. Uh, different engine, different setting, just everything different. Which I think folks also didn't really like that one either. I'm not too sure. So I'm playing this without DLC. That's all that is. And uh, I'm going to go slot three. Normal, heart, nightmare, story, easy. Normal will be fun, I think. Survival mode options, probably not. Cannot be changed beyond the screen, probably not. Weapon degradation, traumas, oxygen. Yeah, nah, I think that's, I think that's probably fine. Oh. MU or MU. We'll go on you. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh... Jammed. Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Why is my door jammed? Oh, to open the transcribe. I just right into the eye, huh? Alex convinced me I'm going to join him aboard the Talos 1 space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. There's this weird drop shadow on this. It's very distracting. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Right. Inventory. Data. Right. Oh god, it's like doom. Am I going to be looting people's PDAs? Ah, eh, jeez. Why's my door jam? This apartment. God, let me tell you. Also, maybe a bit, a bit bright, and I think there's some motion blur going on too. Oof. It doesn't seem to be a whole lot I can do regarding uh, motion blur, but I can climb my desk and read the hands-on electronics thing. Excerpt from the preface of Hands-On Electronics by Anton Yet Sokol. Oof. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. All right, yeah, okay, sure. Morgan you locked. T tutorial? Workstation. Transstar employees have private workstations. Lockstations require password search environment for clues or use hacking ability to bypass the lock and workstations may contain email, files to download, and special utilities. Alright, 
Okay. Well, it's mine, so I just... I know the password, I assume. Yeah, look at that. Oof, this HUD size, though. Wow, Morgan. Get some glasses. Congrats, and welcome. Getting some really strong Doom vibes from this. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your official, f your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. What's today? Ugh. Eh. Don't search the nightstand. Uh, March 15th, 2032. It's a bit... It's a bit small, that. How did I crouch? Ah, see to crouch. Got it. So today. Today's the day. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and I will see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources. Also delivery, sent the package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, Neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Yo, pizza box. Just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff, but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both old children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. Man, mama's so fat. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Commas and punctuation and all that, and you're still just writing prob. Bruh. From Alex U. And then Alex U and Thomas Tucker. All right. Yeah, fine. So what's this about, uh, some, something that we're putting on? In. Oh my god, I haven't... I haven't played a physics-y game like this in so long. Ah, just throwing things around. Oh my god. Whatever happened to that burnt circuit board? Sure. Use plastic tubing? Right on. Frayed wire. Good stuff. Yeah. Another thing to throw. Speech synthesis and natural language generation. That sounds very boring. Excerpt from Chapter 3 by Sebastian Smith. Voice conversion technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as precision of the conversation function and limitations of processing assisting power. You know, I actually might actually be an excerpt that seems reasonable enough all right Ooh, that's a heavy thing god it's been so long since i've been able to throw things ah so good what's this oh there's a lot of books here ah jeez. warm wet noisy Ugh. i don't want to read anymore i'm good Thought that was a, thought that was a paper cup. It was not. <laughs> All right. I suppose this. Yo, I can like decorate my apartment. Kind of. Somewhat, because I can also search this. I could, like, actually start things in it. My god. Eh? Hmm. Box. If I do this right, it'll look like it got robbed. They were looking for something. Okay, let's, let's, let's get my whatever on. Wait, what's this? Sparkling wine. Take, drink. A note? Congrats, Morgan. From Alex. The method. Don't know if I care. Wait, Neuromod. 
What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. Not bullshitting me. Himself, maybe. This is so weirdly worded. Okay, Neuromod. You should get a writing Neuromod, maybe. Part of the walk. Cooking recipe? Well seasoned walk can be sublime, almost spiritual experience. Many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memory. Uh, you take it way too seriously. Okay. I need leverage three to move this around, but boy, I got a Sky King pomegranate here. Had my eye on it all morning. And a green tea. We're ready to start the day. A cyclopedia of food science and cooking. Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's do this thing. Do objective first day on the job. Get in the helicopter on the roof? Wow. Very fancy place for, uh... Hey, I have feet. Very fancy place for not having a functioning, uh... Back door. That's just somebody else's room. You can get a little, a little nice abusive fish tank thing for a little fish to be tortured in. That's, that's nice. Morning, Miss Yu. Water pressure issues have been identified that are being resolved. Apologies for any inconvenience this may have caused. These things can be tricky, you know. Why are you in my head? What are you doing, even? Is that the water s pressure issue? Water. Yeah, pressure issue? Okay. Keep at it. Space to jump. Boom shot to sprint. Makes sense. Wish I could use things while holding my cup. Jesus Christ. So am I like hella fancy or am I just being treated? Oh no, my cup! No, wait! Oh. Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. Cool. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. They're doing the thing. It's nice that my foot's bopping with the music. It's a nice touch. Wish I brought my sunglasses, though. I'll be honest, it's a bit bright out there. I did reduce the brightness a touch, too, because I felt like it might have been a little too bright. I don't know, can adjust it more if needed. Here we are, Ms. Yu. Mind the oh. glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Mind the glass on the way out? Report to test center, I think it was. Okay, well, thank you for the ride. Loud helicopter, man. Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Hold on. Hold that thought. All dialogue. It won't be long before <sighs> you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, Ooh. if necessary. Yeah, I'll take two of those. That sounds great. That'll be my lunch. I haven't had my coffee yet. A helicopter dude wouldn't let Welcome, me take it on board. Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Uh, examine. 
Yeah, okay. Everybody is so friendly to me here. Wow. Morgan! Finally! Here's... The positional audio for voices is really weird in this. Hi, hello. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. I didn't mean to be eye? so close. Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. <laughs> Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay, let's do- you're really building up the tutorial, though. Man. Your, your stocks ain't doing too great. A little bit volatile. The method. Architects of neurological revolution. What if I told you I could turn you- I read this already, this quackery. The method. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Oh, I'm good at this. I was throwing... I was practicing in my apartment when I woke up. I just got a little, you know, nervous from the... From the what's it. I'm gonna do a two for one here. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Right? Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Oh, that should be t I got two, not one. No, oh, whatever. It's close enough, I guess. Jeez. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Synaptic register? At all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. I, I haven't had my coffee yet, if that makes it any better. I wasn't allowed to bring it on the plane. I mean, helicopter. Oh, hey. Corner lane. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Uh, I tried to push it with the chair. It didn't work. I'm sorry. Can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I just... I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Step into D's? Nah. nah I won't do it. Hey, uh... You gotta open the... Thank you. There's no handle or button or anything. Oh, hey, another chair. Double chairs. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, I see how it is. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. I get... I see what's happening here. 
Jeez. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. I'll just I'll just go for a high strength charisma build. We can skip this part, I think. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Yeah, I'm, I can't. Oh, it's F, not, not click. I'm planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know and love. Or try uh. something new. Give me a minute, man. Familiar. Oh, God, it's F. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Yeah. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for my actions. Whoa, bad holiday. Uh... worth it <laughs> sure Ooh, that's heavy stuff yeah i mean i'm gonna take holiday though can't stop me runaway train bearing down on five people tied to the track can cause the train to switch tracks but there's one person tied to the second track i'll switch tracks good next rip runaway train bearing down on five people you're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Too weak. Almost done. He might fight back. Runaway train bearing down on five people tied to the track. Could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but I would die. Now I'll push the fat man. I still do nothing. I'm just going to pull the lever. Interesting. Easy peasy. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Is my coffee? It's empty. Yeah, my ink got into your... Oh my god! Security! Well, it looks a bit like this, actually. It's that. I know that... I know the answer. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh. Feels familiar. Bet that damn door is still jammed, though. Oh, hey, and they cleaned up. Nice. But yeah, it's it's the same day and stuff, right? Like, it's just... Well. Okay. Well... I still want this stuff. That's still good stuff. My password still six emails. Oh god. Oh. From January. Well at least there's still that I can still have my breakfast. Oh, there's a cabinet there too. There's there's stuff everywhere. Also a, a glucose cyst. And some sun-dried tomato jerky. That sounds amazing. How'd I miss this? I could have had snacks on the helicopter, man. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't in the right spot. Boy, room service really killing the immersion here. Water pressure's still fine. Yeah, it's still jammed. Of course. Mm -mm. Wait, I was sleeping with those on?
How do you s turn those off? Can I just generally turn off our power? There's so many lights left on it. It's so wasteful. Uh, whatever. Fish, how you doing? Doing fine. Poor thing. V for flash, a rectangular flashlight. Very strong flashlight. And a, and a wrench. We have a hot bar now. And Hello, a Morgan. and the torch. Time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. All right, break out. I like this double light thing that I've got going on. Break out. Break my way through this stupid door, right? Oh. 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 I got it. Wait, fish. The fish is a lie too. I knew they wouldn't have been so mean. I hope I'm... I can't... Eh. I can't actually. Alright, we broke out. Good. Come on. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. I guess my window ought to be just like right over here, right? Yeah. Cool. That's a that's a neat thing. I like that. A note. Sleeping from midnight to 7.30, 7.31, wake up, turn off alarm, check the transcribe on computer, various tasks, takes a shower. Ho, <laughs> ho, No, I didn't do that, sir. <laughs> Utilities. Audio event. Ah. Pigeon visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the render data. Forget to wear your suit. <laughs> See you soon. Oh, listen. I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. That damn it. How shake things F. Up, Morgan. Like old times. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put an extra effort to hit our milestones, and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. From Sylvain Balami. Dr. Balami, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's not to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neurobot installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. From Alex Yu. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Eldazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any questions you have, requests you have. I know some of you were worried about Dr. Balami. He's currently being treated in the trauma center, and this is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. It's F, not left mouse button. Yo, coffee stains, what? Oops. All right. Tape drive, carry that with leverage three. So I'm assuming those are like perks and upgrades that I'm getting then. 
I feel like they are doing experimentations with neuro mods, and that's like they expected me to have some sort of supernatural stuff, and they thought I'd just like breeze through those tests at superhuman speeds and such. And uh, because I didn't, they're like, "Whoa, something's up!" And it's the neuro mods that give me like leverage points and all that. That's what I get out of it, at least. Simulation debriefing. The save code is... Not a clue. The hell's all the ruckus over here? Somebody wanted to get something out the vending machine, I think, but it got jammed in and they're currently shaking it. Try to get it loose. ICOP 0876. Nailed it. Oh, there is also hacking down there on the bottom right. I could maybe hack that instead. Email. Password protection. Ooh, that needs like a level 3 hacking thing, actually. Alright, we can probably find the code here. Uh, blah blah blah, password stuff, knew it about this morning. Yeah, because I went to everybody. Bad install, test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neural mods? Touch base with grants and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. Alright. Well... Um. Hmm? Marking this entire skew is defective. Investigate with fabrication. TSNM 008 times 3. Must be the, the narrow mod. Not sure what all the banging and bashing around is over there. There's a cool plant. Very neat. I like that. Simulation debriefing observation Storaga this way. That was where I was heading. Initially. Kinda. Oh yeah. Bunches of that stuff. It's quite quiet, but I just hear just a wetness all the time. Kind of weird. Simulation labs, replacement props, storage area. 744 IP number 248 or 428. All right. Um, yeah, it's this is just like Fallout 4 where it's like way too bright. With the flashlight, but like quite dark without. It's definitely going for like a fairly spooky vibe though, this. Taking just everything. Mm. I adjusted the brightness a little bit more, so it's a bit darker even than it was before. Uh, yeah, just all the all the props and stuff that were in the room just out and about and around. Do not open door while simulation's in progress. I'm doing it. Well, I missed whatever that was. Yeah, I found a little more scrap in the uh Nightstand next to the the bed on that opposite side. That's it though. Locked. All right. Is 
So how did I get to the helicopter before? This wall wasn't here, right? Or something. Hey, hi. <laughs> Typhon, Oregon, some bullets, and a mimic tooper, but I need ne ne necropsy, necrosi for the. All right. Yeah, sure. Man, the sprightness thing is going to be a pain to figure out for me. Like, really, it's either way too bright or way too dim. Oh, yeah, so this is just like... Yeah, this part of the set hadn't moved around, I guess, yet. Okay, more tubing. The Faceless Heavy Twist and Loop Handle Wrench, standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities, good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Press and hold mouse with the charge. Okay, drains stamina. Why are you telling me this now? I don't think that helicopter is okay. The pilot don't sound too good. Computer cart leverage one required. I am weak. So I did see that there is a new game plus thing at the main menu. So there is like a bit of replayability for some of these things that are like leverage three, hacking three to get through. I guess you could always, uh, new game plus it? Or so. Explosive canisters. Right. Let's stay well away from that until I get a way to do ranged damage. Fuck is going on over here? Jesus! How do I off with this thing? There we go. Good as new, so that's where the helicopter flies to. That's that's neat. They did a nice job making this little bit of the world. That's cool. A lot of thought went into this. So what do we got? It's F. I know about this morning. God damn it. All right. Scene selection: When subject MU is inside the elevator during maintenance operations between test runs. Report any technical issues immediately. All right. Reset test rooms current configuration A, B, and C. Rooftop entrance. Yeah, that's, that seems right now. All right. Medkit. Sure. Quick select. Uh, that's the wheel, right? Uh, yes. E. C also for drinks and, and stuff and Y and Q and... Right. 
We packed the testing facility then. The auto pipes is, is having a day. And test management, reset A, B, and C. Oh. Test sequence. Room prepared, okay. Uh, fine. We're ready. We're, we're good. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Okay. So would like was his cup then is I guess what it was going for. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. That it that all? I think so. I also want to like jack up the brightness enough to where I don't have to use the flashlight. <laughs> can't I can't quite decide what'd be easier. Skill recorder, control room. I think skill recorder would be our first stop. So let's head there. That dude's dead fast. Ugh. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Spare parts. Suit repair kit. And a lemon peel. Doors recognize that they're jammed. Bad kit. So we got they could be anywhere though, right? Because they're mimics, that's the thing. But I saw a shimmer. Well, no, I'm just going to be so paranoid. Maximum entangled stats. Note about this morning, next week's test. Room A, area of effect. Room B, copycat. Room C, spooky action. Let us know if anything changes. Spooky action in room C. That was the little Q&A bit, wasn't it? Or no, that was room D, I guess. And urgent. I think Balami's taking data related to mimicry. Oh, a corpse is still there and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get Belami's corpse in trauma center. Right. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose a shit if someone else finds that data. 
Yeah, it's off. No utilities or anything. Do the doors a favor. Play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome ch challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card or finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. Stand up notes. Reorder test. Ushan observation. Zeba Lamy. Flammability test cancelled indefinitely. Alex wants to greet Morgan before the test. Yeah, two cups seemed a little bit sus, you know. Just seemed a little sus with two cups. So I thought maybe one of them's a lie. Because they don't... They don't, like, go into the object. They just become the object. My stamina. Oh, that comes back slowly. How did you get around? Okay. So there's one more somewhere, I think. Ooh, crumpled paper. And another lemon peel. Smelling fresh. Dwarf Red Cosmos. Huh. Um, sure. I'll loot the flowers. Simulation Lab. Access card. And email. Personality drift results. Dr. Balami, here are the results from today's personality test. Seeing some drift over the last few trials compared to previous trials. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. Most recent test pasted below for reference. Familiar. Calm was worth it. Switch tracks. Do nothing. Do nothing. Yeah. Yelly test. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended it indefinitely. Right. Which would cause personality drift or some such. Which is the same thing. Can't divulge names. Definitely been a spike in staff and department reporting instances of acute anxiety. Actually, much worse with psychotronics. Talking to Kel Kelstrup. Kelstrup? That's another new name. There's a lot of new names here. Talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned that these are not isolated incidents. Going to mention it to Alex at the next director's meeting. And he didn't have any fun, uh, no, no fun apps on their monitor. <laughs> hmm. So if I wanted to be like really slow and cautious about it, I could be quite sneaky and uh, oh, drink. Hmm. And bring along some object that definitely doesn't belong, or something fairly unique, like this thing. Which is pretty fucking unique looking. And I could use that as like a, a bait to see if I can get them to become it, so I would know, I guess. Hacking tutorial! Oh, I don't even have hacking one, lol. Alright, fine. So then it also, something with this, I think it was, the maintenance panel. I could open to do it my way. Although I've got the key card thing. So it's a little bit whatever. But that gives you the idea. Mm. A bigger one. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. 
Keep moving. There's an apple here. The Noetic Field. Noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in scientific community. Skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be possible in some circumstances, but evidence weak, where the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. But what is the noetic field? Fairly sus health bar. Control panel broken. Repair if I have the repair skill and enough spare parts. Okay. Cool. Glue cannon. And canister. And canister, and canister, and do it. Bullets, suit repair, med kit, and glue cannon. Transdark glue cannon, gelifoam lattice organism obstructor. Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Extinguish flames, temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Yeah, okay. So that might be what I was seeing a bit of was dude trying to make like a staircase but was struggling really damn hard with it kind of like what i'm about to do oh ha huh. i made it but this is Volunteer things. Ah. Well, I have skipped ahead a little bit. There's a there's a bunch of things there. Okay. Well, mm, I'm here. <laughs> Let's go where I'm meant to be. Man, dude was very trigger happy when spraying this stuff around, huh? Vieira Singh. Yeah, you don't want to exhaust yourself. It's a long cooldown for the security booth. Hmm. This is where I saw a bunch of them scatter. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. I see you there. Neuromods and Abilities. Neuromod is a revolutionary Transstar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open Transcribe and navigate to the Neuromod section. Right in. Scientist. Engineer. Security. There's a lot of stuff. Physical abilities, skill with firearms, and security tactics. Conditioning. Health 115, stamina 105. Generally do things faster. There's also repair one, leverage one. Med kit's more effective and allow us to hack a bit. Well. I'll take a bit of stamina. Sure. Since not having stamina is, um... Hmm. 
Thankfully, I put it in my nose. Not having stamina is kind of bad. I'm sure there are many Transtar personnel who wish they had stronger, faster bodies at the moment. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Alright. Favorites wheel. Mouse wheel to open it, select. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Skill recording room, that's... That's locked. Okay. I feel important. How dodgy these things. Well, that's two out of like the five or so that I had seen. You had like a little detection thingy that. Anything looking sus here? Robert Gage. Some agave plant clippings and a transcribe. Robert? Alice, thank God. No one else is... Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't... Jesus, you're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. Oh. Whoops. Projected colors are still wrong. Hey. Is there a second one in here? Rooms. If I had leverage one, I could have moved these. That's a little, wait. Yeah, ladies' room. I can go in here. That one's off limits anyway. No wonder it's all boarded up. Occupied, huh? Lies. This is a very, very swish restroom, though. Man, oh man. Crumpled paper. Yoink. Green tea. I'll drink that now. Synthetic material used by the fabricator. All right. If I, if I throw good enough, I move that a bit. But I suck at throwing, so it's a bit whatever. Okay, moving on. To this away. Never mind. Not that away. Let me go back up topside because I'm curious. There's also that how I get into the security office, I think. If 
banana peels, a glue canister. Oh, I see. My flashlight's got a charge on the bottom left. Man, been ages since games did that kind of stuff, huh? I'll just glue cannon from here, maybe? But I can't glue onto glue, so we're a little bit limited in that regard. That's so much easier to get up that way. Some spare parts for repair that I can't quite manage. Fabrication place, but locked off. Needs hacking for. Oof. Volunteer quarters needs power, I guess. Some herbalism. Disruptor stun gun. On three. Ooh. Disruptor stun gun knocks out human targets. Typhon are more resistant, but can still be temporarily stunned. Robotic devices can also be temporarily disabled and ultimately destroyed by the disruptor. Charge it. Release to fire. We got, like, a decent range here. Yeah, pretty decent. A whole banana and a bunch of batteries. Alright, so now I can blast some explosive containers, maybe? Perhaps. Welcome, volunteers! Yay! Volunteer testing. Computer cart. Um, hacking 2 for that. Okay. So if you require power, does this... Does this give you enough? generally shoot around. Yeah, no, I, I don't know where you would get power from. This doesn't give you enough of a enough of a jolt, though, I guess. It's fair. Okay, so we're gonna be coming back up here, apparently. This is nice so far. It's like, uh, like kind of like a bit spoopy and all that. I like the world of it thus far. It's a really cool design. Nice way to integrate like a tutorial type thing for new players and also like get you into the world a bit. And it's like believable and you know all that. There's a decent bit of thought that was going into this.